Good evening, Internet. We are back with uh, Sucker for Love Date to Die For, which is a sequel to Sucker for Love First Date. Uh, in the last episode, we played TV Series 1. Uh, we're going to be playing TV Series 2 now. Um, and we're going to hopefully find the clues for the um, the secret ending for TV Series 1 so that we can uh, smooch the uh, Forest God. I mean, save the world, sorry. House of Wax. Did something scary happen? Huh? Look, you're reading. Did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Oh, no, no. I must have nodded off and had a bad dream. What was it about? I can't remember, but I saw something or someone, and then I passed out. Or woke up, I guess. Either way, you're on the other side from whatever you saw. For now. For now? Whatever I saw? These dreams will be the end of me. I better find my siblings soon. A year ago, all nine of my siblings vanished into the woods during a string of disappearances. They were never found. Earlier today, I received this picture in the mail. It's a photograph of all of them together at my grandmother's house here in Sacramento. It was taken recently. This photo is the whole reason I came here, but now it's making me uneasy, like there's something I'm forgetting about. If you're having trouble finding a book you're interested in, may I make a suggestion? I think I need to get going before it gets too dark. I'll quickly hear her out and let her down gently. Sure. I believe you'll find this one to your liking. Hmm. It smells funny. And this book is... Roxanne. Her name was Roxanne. Where is she? A flood of fragmented memories is rushing back to me. I'm back at the beginning of the nightmare. Am I just starting all over? No. Think. Some of my memories don't line up. I remember my parents going missing, but my parents are alive and well. I just talked to them the other day. Something has changed. What, what's happening to me? forget 95% of their own dreams. I imagine they forget even more about the dreams of others. Don't you think? Who are you? That's what I asked. It's all right. You are safe here. I am Moo. I made the book you're holding. And she's the reason this whole damn mess even exists. The Black Woods, the disappearances, all of it. You caused all of this? You blame me for the misfortune befalling the black goat. Because I made the book to begin with. That's fair. But I merely created a means of communication between humans and gods. Am I truly to blame that someone else uses it for evil instead? How is she just talking about gods like it's nothing? Are are you another eldritch god? Or an immortal human? I am neither of those things, but I am a friend here to aid you. Are you the dreamer? You've regained a portion of your memories surrounding the book after looking at it, yes? That should lead you where you're trying to go. Back to the house. Thumbing through the book, Roxanne's face is coming back to me. If I, call, if I recall correctly, I should be able to get her through Missing Person Lane. I should be able to get to her through Missing Person Lane. Thanks for giving this back to me. Menacing. This feels familiar. I'm getting some killer deja vu right now. I've definitely been here before. But even still, this alley feels unfamiliar, like it changed completely from the last time I was here. I quickly pick a direction and break into a brisk jog, but no matter how hard I look, I can't find my turn. Backtracking, hugging the walls, nothing seems to be helping. What was my house number again? I bet it's somewhere in the photo I got in the mail. Wait a minute, this... It's a fake. It's a trap. Just like last time. If I turn around, I can get back to the bookstore and collect my thoughts. Ow. Are you like blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutzerama. 
her again. Do I know you? Last time I gave myself away, right? If I don't stick around this time. Really sorry, gotta go. I break into a sprint, hiding my eyes behind my hair. I hear her grumbling to herself as I make distance between us. Uh, did I miss something? Even stranger, I managed to arrive at my old house undetected this time. I better rush to my room and summon Roxanne. The Blackwoods are back. Uh, are we just going back? Yeah. So we already know the house this time. We can just go through, hopefully. Nothing's waiting for us. Never mind. What are they all doing here? How'd they know I was coming? My head. I hear the sound of steel unsheathing and heavy chains dragging towards me, but the sound halts a short distance from me. They're hesitating. Is it me, or do they look afraid? The cultists are muttering uneasily amongst each other. Somewhere behind that mask, their cruel gaze is sizing me up. Come on, think. I need to break their confidence. Buck was telling the truth. I did beat you all, and then burned the Blackwoods down with everyone in it. Notice how Buck, the one who knows the most about me, isn't here? They look visibly rattled. None of them wonder us their precious, uh, long-lived bodies. Now, for the biggest bluff. Don't think I'm a threat? Don't think I can wipe the floor with you and your friends even now? Go on. Underestimate me. Make the same mistake Buck did before he lost. Alright. I've heard enough. I'm interested. I got him. Every single one of them dropped their weapons, except for the big one. The cultists begrudgingly depart, retrieving their makeshift weapons from the ground. None so much as look at me as none so much as look at me as they pass. broken. How am I going to make it out of this now? Did they just break their own arm? I don't think we're going to be able to take you out with a bass guitar. Bought myself some time, but what did I just get myself into? So Buck remembers the previous reality. 
Oh, that's really cool. Baka Baka, I really like this. So any light candles, take that. Roxanne Silva Scura. We got a heart. Hey. Don't worry, I remember. Really? You do? When I saw the book, I remembered everything. Well, 5% of everything. Most important parts. I remember her all right, but what happened to the standoffishness? I don't have any memories of being so close. My stardust. It's been so, so long. Uh, hey. Hi. So long? It feels like I just saw you. This is so different. She's completely lost her composure over me. me. It's as if hundreds of years have passed. Not that you would have noticed your reality beginning anew. Only cosmic entities still exist in the space between dreams. Wait. Us meeting. That happened in a completely different reality? This is terrible. I know it's a lot to take in, but... You mean I wore the same thing two dates in a row? Kinda. What were you doing all that time? Trying to avoid falling asleep again, to keep from creating new nightmares. But now that it has begun again, I'm so, so happy that I'm dreaming about you too. Aww. She's brushing my hair with her hand, like a mother coddling her child. It's nice, but I just realized something terrible. What has Buck been doing all this time? Shoot. I'm going up against someone that knows all of my moves from parallel reality? That explains how I got ambushed. He knew I was coming. I should hurry. I want to hold on to this moment for a bit longer. We might actually have a have the time for it. Only one cultist is after us this time. Really? Who? I think the others said his name was Billy. Billy? Oh, Stardust. What? Is that bad? Very bad. Oh, this is a nightmare. I couldn't bear to watch if Billy catches you. Wake up, wake up, wake up. He didn't seem so bad. And the fact that you met her and lived is a miracle. I don't know. She seemed different from the others. The rest of the thousand act like mindless zombies, but it's like she was fully conscious. Well, I suppose it's possible that even with her bloodthirst multi- <laughs> She still has a desire stronger than that. She was one of your tormentors, right? Do you have any guesses about what that desire might be? She has a very odd honor code that she follows to the letter. Her strict adherence to that code is probably the only thing strong enough to overpower my influence. From what I gather, it's essentially the law of the jungle. Big fish eats small fish. Might makes right. Might makes right. But that can't be right. She takes orders from Buck. There's no way Buck is mightier than Billy. Have you seen her? She probably considers Buck stronger than her because he's immortal. That's a fair assessment. Hmm. So even though Buck is physically weaker than Billy, she still listens to him anyway because he's essentially undefeatable? I can use that to save all three of us. All three of us? Ugh, stardust. Even for being in a cult full of brainwashed psychopaths, Billy is the least reasonable. The only way to get through to her at all is to speak her language. Right. We're going to beat her up. I'm counting on that. I just have to think of something. I suppose I could beat her by finishing the rituals while she's hurting me, but I doubt that she'll just let me go if I succeed. The house is surrounded. There must be some other way to convince her I'm stronger than her.
Gather ingredients for Epicurean Feast. Meat, milk, liquid life. Red fire candles. No Billy. Akabaka, I really like that effect. There too. This must be the milk I need, right? Better grab this and go before Billy hears me. I don't remember being that this spoiled for choice last time. All this meat, the thousand were really out for blood this time around. I'm not sure which is making me more uneasy, the volume of blood or the fact that this feels familiar. That's everything. Roxanne, here I come. What's that sound? Does the sound give any hints as to where Billy is? Oh, a kitty! Hello, little darling. Poor thing must be terrified with all the commotion going on. Come on, let's get you somewhere safe. What? Its face is missing. What's wrong? Never seen a Russian blue before. Are you Auntie Nyan Nyan? <laughs> you are. Roxanne only gave me the uh, lightheadedness, but this, my sanity is slipping through my fingers like grains of sand. My intrusion, but when my niece didn't awaken, wailing and clutching at her sheets, I knew something was amiss. I had to see the source of her pleasant dreams for myself. I've heard much about you, the way my niece spoke of you. Why, you'd think she'd learned nothing from her eternal torment. At human hands. Your niece, Roxanne? You're her aunt? Many call me aunt. Others call me the crying chaos, the haunter of the dark, the mind eater, the unknown that pushes back. I've earned many ominous titles and aliases that I don't much care for. But you may call me by one I do quite like. Nyan Nyan. Yeah, I remember you. We smooched you in a different reality. I'm being driven over the edge, my very sanity thrashing towards its watery tomb amidst the unimaginably philosophic void. Don't like that. How, how dare you? She's suffering. I've seen how much damage this has done to her, and I'm not even halfway through healing any of it. Is this some kind of joke to you? Why it's so damn 
Crazy. Come now. The very same humans that she lent her power to use it for the sole purpose of inflicting as much suffering upon her as possible. Classic comedy. Ah, the cosmos is always laughing and never smiling. I thought that was going to be longer. But then you had to come along and muddle the lesson I'm trying to teach her. You will pay dearly for that. Do you come here to to kill you? You're not immortal, so death means nothing to you. You aren't around to see it, and in the next reality, you won't even know it happened. All my creativity would go to waste. Besides, I never feel so threatened by a human to step in personally. I'm here for oh, what is the human expression? A victory lap. I'm here to watch you die when the thousand takes back the book and Roxanne gets what she deserves for consorting with humans. I won't let you say something so awful about your own family in front of me like it's nothing. a permanent tally, counting the number of times that you've been made humble at the bloody hands of the thousand. This one's a given. This will help you keep perspective. The next time that you think there is any hope, any hope at all, take a good look. Your memories of its significance will come pouring back. Enjoy resting your head on Roxanne's shoulders while you can. Soon, it won't be resting on yours. Alright. Milk of black goat, sexual to the, filled with the brim of liquid life, and living thing that died within the woods, chant with the, while facing red fire candles, Ahoragor Yafa Bathankarna. Too fast. Ah, that smells wonderful. You're such a good follower of mine. But is it ready? It may not be hot enough. <laughs> yet oh such decadent indulgent food can be so messy too if only we had something to eat off of please me if you'd like uh yeah i'm i'm sure there's some plates downstairs i could throw food in the microwave if it's gotten too cold too You fell in love with the ace. I'm not sure what you want. I shovel a small handful, a uh, small handful of morsels into my mouth. Uh, well, I wasn't prepared to meet your aunt. No, no, I'm fine. Really, she just said she was here to spectate. Okay, maybe. So funny, trust me. Uh, my mouth's full of food. Oh, can I have a taste? I was being serious. It really was not to end in Yan Yan. She seems nice. You're allowed to say you hate my family. She seems nice. Uh, after I get to know them, it'll be too late to hate them. I'd love to hear about your family, Roxanne. If I ever have a dream where we aren't in so much peril, I'd be happy to tell you all about them. It's a date. Wild evolution. So we need to go down to the hearts again. Is there anything else in here? Where have I gone? Ooh, 
Whose blood is the tree bleeding? I really like this illustration as well. This is really cool. I found a shortcut to uprooting. There's only three rituals that need to be done first. Should be faster and easier. Drink directly from a healthy, beating heart of the woods. Red, okay. Purple, no. Chant while near your partner. Can't talk to you. Don't like that. So not from the purple one. As soon as I touch the heart, a large quantity of blood spills out onto the floor in front of me. I cup a handful and drink it down. It's strange, but after losing so much blood, the heart appears to have grown slightly. Larger? I feel a little funny, but it looks like I did it right. Is there a... There's not one. Okay. It's probably a bad end then. Where am I? I think we're safe upstairs because I don't hear the um the clanging upstairs. All right, near your partner. Ua, yay, ay, yay, ot, yagnor. Face the statue. feel any different. What changed? Let me check my reflection. Stardust, I wouldn't look in the mirror so soon. The shock might be a lot to take in. Okay, but now I basically gotta look. Phew. Deep breaths. Be strong. I I've got horns. This isn't so bad. All in all I think I actually look kinda cute with these. I wonder if they're real. Can I touch them? I... What was that? Was that me? Was that my voice just now? I sounded hoarse, like I've been screaming at the top of my lungs for hours. But more importantly, what I saw just now. What's happened to me? What's... Oh, is that a tin can? Something is very wrong with me. You think? This ritual will amplify all animalistic behavior of those within earshot, including estrus and aggression. Face toward a device capable of producing sound from a radio signal. Ensure that it is on. Chant three times. Don't worry about it. Just go straight to Roxanne as soon as possible after chanting. Trust me. Haha. -ha. So we have to go to the TV room. Actually didn't want to go forward. Hmm. 
ensure that it is on. Uag often inga anga. So we just made her more aggressive. I'm back. Suddenly, a, a floral, perfume-like scent washes over me. Got you covered. <laughs> I love it. This is a real low point. I'm keeping this shit, mm. by the way. All yours. Oh, that old thing? I basically only use it for pajamas. Take it. Oh, I should reciprocate. Come here. Let me do your horns for you. It won't take long. Aw. I sit down while she gently preens and decorates my new satyr like spikes. Uh, Guzun tight. I feel the top of my horns. The tips have been adorned with a lustrous metal. I shake my head a few times. The fit is perfect. Wow. Was that Billy? It sounded like her bat. That was fun, but I'd better get back to the rituals. That was the balcony. What are we doing here? Labyrinthine roots. This will expose the psychoactive roots of the Blackwoods, allowing them to burn without an accelerant this time. Cast outside like the, on a porch or balcony, but face away from the woods. Do not look at the woods in any way until the second phase of the ritual is complete. Chant Maganagoft uh, Epwol Shogor At Loa Shogor Ulya. And we don't have the second part of the ritual yet. So we're going to the balcony. No Billy. Face away from the woods until the ritual is complete. Oh, don't look at the woods. You may have lost your sense of direction. This is normal. Stay calm. Do not directly view the woods in any way, windows and doors included, until the ritual is concluded. Avoid looking into any mirror. Find your way back to your partner. Chant to hide the roots from your sight. Broken. Uh, that's not good. There we go. Oh, shit. Well,
So we go forward until we see Billy. There she is. Go forward until we see Billy. Roxanne, I did it. That was the last ritual before I can approve you. Oh, you don't want to be uprooted anymore, do you? What's wrong? Nothing, but if there's any loose ends left to tie up, now would be a good time to do it. Before uprooting me, that is. Haste makes waste, after all. I still haven't beaten Billy yet. If I don't do it now, I might not get another chance. But then again, Billy is curious hell. I was able to survive all this time without getting spotted, but who knows how many times she's killed me in other realities. If I knew that exact number, I might be able to come up with a strategy. These are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan, Nyan have been leaving for me. Has been leaving for me. Uh, she's been adding one for every time I've lost. Doesn't really prove much as is. Are you... Blocked from the other side by something purple. I thought if we knew the number of times she'd beaten us, we could come up with a plan, but I guess that's not correct. Heartburn. If your relationship with Roxanne Salva Oscura has soured and, or you no longer wish to have the earth consumed by the Black Woods, this ritual is the only way to rid the reality of them for now. This ritual will cause the Black Woods to burn to ash and the hearts will return to their dormant state. This will allow you to escape from the Black Woods, but be warned, you can never meaningfully leave the Black Woods until you've entered them, or once you've entered them. Previous rituals should have exposed the roots. No further regents, reagents or rituals are needed to burn them. Go to the heart of the woods while facing the heart chant. Can't do anything with you. Can't do anything with you. Is this a um a split? This is a split, okay. I have got to turn those Steam notifications off. Uh where's Billy? To quote uh Twin Peaks Season 3. Where's Billy? I don't even hear her bad anymore. Can't turn the TV on anymore.
Are we, with each reality, making the hearts stronger? What are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave yet. You don't know how long it's been since I've had any solace in these nightmares. Since my dreams were something to look forward to. Now that you're here, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. How do I know I won't be alone next time? What if you aren't there to make me feel safe? I don't want to leave. Okay, we can stay. I'll stay with you, here, for as long as you need. We can't. I know that. If we sit around and wait instead of ending this now, bad things will happen to both of us. We'll lose our opportunity to end things on our own terms. It's a binary choice. Either I end it or I don't. Something bad is bound to happen to everyone. It's life, but that doesn't mean it's not worth living through. I'd never cut my time here with you short just because it'll end eventually. I'll wait here until someone drags me away. I didn't ask you to do that. I couldn't do that to us. I couldn't see what they do to you. Yes, you could, you big old worrywart. Bad things happen, sure, but they always pass. Plus, you're immortal. Something good enough to make all this worthwhile is bound to happen eventually. Any time, Roxanne. Ready? Ready. Thank you, my sweet stardust. All right, we're running. We're running, we're running. To get jump scared by Billy. What happened? Did the whole house fall on me? I don't see any rubble. The book. I've got to take it and... You can't see your body, but I can. You'll suffer if you try to move. You're finished. No. I'm so close. I reached for the book, but my wrist is kicked aside. You're already dead. Even if you can't feel it yet. I'll be taking this to Buck, as promised. I try to yell in protest, but words won't come out. If Buck gets the book back, no, I won't let either of you hurt Roxanne. Not in my house. Let go. You can't put up a fair fight anymore. There is no glory in prying this book out of your hands now. So admit defeat and let go already. I reach with my other hand, my thumb freely along the closed pages for a grip. There's loud tearing noise. A pain beyond belief rips through my body. You ripped out a page as I pulled the book away. Why? You're too wounded to speak. You won't be able to cast anything to save yourself. That doesn't matter now. I know I'm I'm beyond saving. This me, at least. But if what everyone is saying about new reality is true, there will be another stardust another time. Then I'll happily pass the baton. But I won't let Roxanne suffer in the meantime. I feel my fist being pried open by her inhuman, inhuman grip. My entire hand goes numb. All of my extremities do. There's a pause before my wrist is released and falls limply to the ground. 
I hear footsteps retreating as Billy leaves me. I failed. I was so very close. I'm sorry, Roxanne. With my last drop of will, as my vision begins to dim, I turn my head towards my clenched fist. Page still in hand. She's leaving with the book, but letting me destroy the most important page? There's too much to unpack here with what little time I have left. So instead, I watch the page in my hand burn to ash as everything goes dark. Roxanne, in this dream, the one about me, you're safe. Stay tuned. Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, is coming up. Huh. Even though Stardust lost the battle, looks like she's winning the war, isn't she? Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? Next time on Sucker for Love, the lonely devil arrives. Now who wants an autograph? Alright, I want to try... These are the tally marks that Auntie Nanyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Wow. Look at all the times I've kicked the bucket. Jeez. I'd had no idea I've died so many times, and I'm still here. Wait, that's it. If I show this to Billy, I might make it out of this. I should wait here. Billy, come out to play. Actually, I can prove I'm stronger than you right here, right now, without throwing a single punch. Take a look. Not a trap, a scoreboard. A 12 foot tall cat girl in high heels from outer space carved these notches into the wall. Really? I haven't already lost you? That makes sense to you so far? Fair. She made these notches because she wanted to discourage me. She makes a permanent tally mark on the wall each time you kill me. She left this to prove I'll only lose against you, but actually, it's the only way I could have ever proven I've won. So, I've beaten you to death countless times. That's your point. And yet I still come back like a cockroach. My point is that my tenacity is infinite. All of these times I've lost, and you're not any closer to defeating me. You see, right? This may be the number of times I've fallen, but also it's the tumber, number of times I've come back. You're telling the truth, aren't you? However, all you've proven is that we're in a standoff. If you really believed I'd spare you because we're tied at the moment, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, you still have to die. Your personal honor code means you only listen to someone that's stronger than you, right? And you listen to Buck. That must mean he's stronger than you. Because he's immortal. Even if I managed to break him in two now, he could beat me the next time we met by already knowing what I was going to do. That makes him stronger than me. But he'd be worse for wear, right? He keeps the mental and physical trauma from all of your previous attempts to kill him. And I don't. I come back good as new every time, without even remembering how I got my head handed to me. If Buck and I fought, I would eventually win, because his injuries would accumulate, and mine wouldn't. That makes me stronger than Buck, which makes me stronger than you, by the associative property. Well, what does she think? <laughs> oh, proving you're stronger than me without throwing a single punch. I see your strength. 
I won't come after you anymore if you spare me. Spare? Jeez, she really does believe I'm much stronger than her. I mean, I guess I was telling the truth, but I didn't expect her to submit like this. She must take that honor code of her seriously. It's a deal, on two conditions. What's the first one? Could you maybe take off your mask? Wait, her eyes. You don't have the Sacramento stare. No, I'm not one of the thousand. I'm not even from here either. So, what's the second order? Once I finish the uprooting ritual to set Roxanne free, I want to escape alive with the book. Done. Really? Easy as that? That's a huge relief. This reality is your only shot. So, this is the only time I'll be able to count on Billy. I'd better make a count. Alright, once I finish the last ritual, we're going. I'll watch your room until then. Alright, be on guard. Buck might be surveilling us. Buck is going to somehow win in this reality too, isn't he? done here Buck probably knows now this is our one shot all right what's the plan can you get us out of here yes. remember that the thousand formed a perimeter around the house if we run out blindly we're finished the burning roots are invisible too so to stay safe keep your feet on something that doesn't burn like cement or water I saw a pond on the foot. It's Buck. Where is he? Can I get out? I can't. Can I get out? I can't. I wish I still had my bass guitar. Thank God that missed. I turn around to see Buck. That's the wrong former too. I turn around to see Buck silently loading another shell into a shotgun. That must hurt. Why is he so burned already? My skin isn't falling off like his. What happened to you? Now give me the book. Don't bother telling me it's not with you. Because I'm shooting you either way if you don't hand it over right now. Over my dead body. Thank you, Billy. Billy. As I was saying, hold my rope to your mouth and, and jump in the pond on your way out. Wait in the water until the fire's burned over. What about you? Go. I turn, rushing out the door. There's nobody standing between me and the pond. I've made it through this. I take one look, last look behind me. Got your work cut out for you, kid. 
Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? Next time on Sucker for Love, the lonely devil arrives. Now who wants an autograph? All right, that was good. Uh, we didn't find a hint for the first true ending. Billy has left the thousand. Um, so I don't know what the true ending for the first chapter is. We'll have to figure out that sometime. Um, yeah, I'm going to end the episode there. In the next episode, we'll come to TV series 999. Oh, um, I guess not. Uh, we have to find the true ending first. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back and find the true ending for chapter one, uh, and then I'll put that on the first episode. Uh, and then in the next episode, we'll come back and we'll do the uh, chapter 999. Uh, nine ending, nine hours, or nine people, nine hours, nine doors. Uh, we'll go through uh, TV series 999, uh, and then once we get the true ending for chapter 999, we'll go through whatever this fourth chapter is. Thank you for joining me for another night of strange and scary games. I love you. Have a good night, and I will see you soon.